Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an updated body care collection video. It is currently the end of October when I'm filming this and I believe the last time I updated you guys was around midsummer. So it's been a few months and I have all of my body care laid out on the bed behind me and I have this like super fall <laughs> fit on today. I've got my hair braided and I just figured it was like the best time to show you guys because I'm in the total fall vibes. It's raining right now. It feels great outside and yeah, let's go ahead and get into the collection and I will be popping up some numbers on the screen too, comparing it to um, earlier this year and even in January because I did do uh, my first collection video of 2023 in January. So I'll kind of be comparing my numbers from January to now and from the summer to now. Just so you guys can kind of get an idea of what my collection is looking like as we're nearing the end of the year. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, as you can see right here, it covers the entire bed, which is fine because... That's usually what it does, <laughs> but I have a white comforter, so I did go ahead and put this um, like fall blanket on top just in case anything leaked. I didn't want it to get um, stains on my bedspread, but just so you can see, I have everything laid out. I kind of did it from like winter, fall, summer, spring, um, and then by category. So shower gels, body lotions, body creams, all that good stuff going all the way up. So I guess we can start down here with my shower gels and I did try to line it up. If I have um, like a body lotion to match, then I lined it up with that. But we will start off on the left over here. This is gonna be a pretty long video. I'm gonna not really do anything on um, scent notes unless it's like a more rare scent or something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to go pretty quick for you guys. Um, I only have a few from the winter time and really life of the party. I don't know if you would count that as winter, but it did come out last year in the winter time. So I have a life of the party, iced sugar plum from last year and vanilla mocha cream. These are my three winter ones. I got some fall ones here together weather from this year in this like beautiful embossed leaf packaging. I just thought that was so gorgeous. We have champagne, apple, and honey, which I'm currently using, and pumpkin pecan waffles I'm also using in the shower. This one I used to actually not like at all, and I'll show you the notes on this one, but I've been loving it this year. I really didn't like this when I first bought it. I believe it came out in 2021 for the first time in body care, um, in a long time at least, and I didn't really love it when I first bought it, but this year I am obsessed with this in the shower, so I'm loving it so much. And then Cozy Vanilla Bourbon also from this year. So those are my fall ones. Now we've got some summer and a spring. I've got fresh coconut and cotton from this year. Beach Nights. This is my last Beach Nights body care item um, besides the body spray. I'm really sad that I'm going to be without it. I'm probably going to have to buy some on uh, Mercari. But this is Beach Nights. And then we've also got Among the Clouds. So that's everything for my Bath and Body Works shower gels. And I've got some other brands here. First up, I have Pacifica, the Island Vanilla Body Wash. I have not used this yet. I haven't even opened it. But I have used some other things in the Island Vanilla scent. And I do like them a lot. I've got two from Philosophy. These are the Shampoo Shower Gels and Bubble Baths. I really love this formula. It's like nice and uh, iridescent. It's so pretty. This is Strawberry Guava Coconut and Pumpkin Icing, which I'm currently using. This one smells super good. And then I've got this one from iHeart Revolution, the Shower Shake in Vegan Mint Chocolate. This will definitely be more of like a winter scent for me. So that's everything for the shower gels. I will pop up my numbers so you guys can see that. But... Um, I'm feeling all right about shower gels. I definitely have too many, <laughs> but I go through those pretty fast, so that's okay. All right, next up we have my body lotions. So I've got a couple winter ones, Twisted Peppermint and Iced Sugar Plum, and then some fall ones, Midnight Amber Glow, Pumpkin Cupcake, which is not my favorite scent. I'm hoping that just like pumpkin pecan waffles, I'll like start to like it, but I don't, I don't know yet. And then we've got Together Weather and Champagne, Apple, and Honey. We've got White Pumpkin and Chai, Twilight Woods, and In the Stars. These two I would consider as like year-round kind of scents. So that's it for the body lotions. Now I do have a couple of moisturizing body washes. I think this part of my collection is pretty good. I'm happy with only having three of them and I think it's a good variety. So I've got Midnight Ember Glow, 
Into the Night, and In the Stars. So moving on to other moisturizers, I've got three body oils right here. So I've got the Aromatherapy Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. I've got this Pacifica Vegan Collagen Body Oil. And then this one that I'm currently using from Glossier, this is the Body Hero um, Dry Touch Oil Mist. I actually really love this formula. It's not super greasy. It doesn't transfer under my clothes. It dries really fast. I'm loving this formula. And I've been using it for the last couple of months, so I'm really enjoying it. So those are my three um, body oils. And then I do have this random post-shave soothing mist from Tree Hut. I love this stuff. Um, it works super, super well. So if you struggle with razor burn, totally recommend getting one of those. And then I've got some body butters. So I did just recently pick up this three pack from Fenty. These are technically minis, um, but I'll go through these. So I have Butter Drop, which is warm cinnamon shimmering whipped oil body cream. So that's the first one. They're all actually the Butter Drop formula. And then I've got this one in Vanilla Dream Shimmering Whipped Oil Body Cream. And then this last one, which I don't believe has a scent. It's just the regular body cream. It's just the whipped oil body cream. So I've got these three. I have not tried them. I just got them like last week. So very excited to try those out. And then I've got this one from Bath & Body Works in Midnight Amber Glow. I haven't really used it too much, but I do love their um, body butter formula, especially when it's cold outside. So I'll just go ahead and finish off my moisturizers and show you guys all my Bath & Body Works body creams. So as you can see right here, I've got two Midnight Amber Glows. I have one that I'm pretty close to finishing up. It's in my Project Use It Up. So those are those two. I've got a Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, a Everlasting Magic from this year's Halloween collection, a Pink Chiffon, and then two from the Summer Collection in Whipped Coconut Milkshake and Fresh Coconut and Cotton. So that's it for body creams. Now moving on to body scrubs, I have this Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte that is broken and somebody said that I should tape the top of it. So I did tape it, but I'm still a little scared about it leaking. So I'm not gonna lay it down, but um, that's why this one's standing up. It actually is broken. But anyways, so I've got eight body scrubs. I'm actually pretty happy with the size of my body scrub collection. I think this is great. I've got a little bit of variety here. Um, I've got some fun scents and just some you know year round scents. So I think it's pretty cool. I actually just picked up this Tree Hut Candy Cane Body Scrub like yesterday at the grocery store. So this one's brand new to me. It smells really good. It smells like a candy cane buttercream. It smells delicious. I cannot wait to use this. Um, and then I've got Apple Macchiato from this year's Fall Line, which is in my shower. I'm about halfway through that one. I've got the Cinnamon Dolce Shea Sugar Scrub from this year's Target Collection. This one smells so, so good. I cannot wait to use that one too. And then I've got Velvet Coffee. This is from last year's fall collection. So those are my four tree hut scrubs. And then I've got one from Dionys. This is the Goat Milk Whipped Body Scrub. It's just a simple vanilla bean scent. So that one is a nice scent, but not really something I'm using right now. And then I've got three from Bath & Body Works. I have the Together Weather Foaming Sugar Scrub. I've got this Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Foaming Sugar Scrub and then the Gingham Vibrant Foaming Sugar Scrub. As you can tell, I like the foaming scrubs. I feel like they're really nice and they're a little gentle, which is good to use kind of every day. Whereas these um, Tree Hut ones, I would definitely only use like once or twice a week because they are very, very coarse. Okay, going up here, I've just got one random shave cream from EOS. This is the scent Pink Citrus. I like the EOS shave creams, they're not my favorite. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm using currently. And then I've got three hand creams over here. I've got white coconut caramel, happy Easter tutti frutti candy, and then this Pacifica vegan collagen hand cream. And I'm gonna actually come back for these perfumes, but that was the only spot they would fit in. So that's it for this little section. Okay, I'm gonna hold the phone up here. I'm hoping that I'm not super shaky, but here are my minis. I actually don't have too many minis. I feel like this is a good like amount. Um, and I've got a lot of mini mist just because I've realized that if I can get a full size mist in a mini form, that is much better for me because it takes me years to use up a mist. So anyways, so starting off with my mini mist, I've got two in Midnight Amber Glow. This one is pretty much almost done. I'm just saving it for like a trip or something to finish, but Midnight Amber Glow is one of my favorites. I've got the Cozy Vanilla Bourbon from this year, Champagne, Apple, and Honey and warm vanilla sugar. And then I've got this Victoria's Secret Bear perfume, or not perfume, uh, fragrance mist, and this Diamond Shimmer Mist in Happy Halloween Vampire Blood from Bath & Body Works. 
I believe, yeah, this is two years ago from 2021. And then I've got two little shower gels. I've got Pure Wonder and this Olay Ultra Moisture. And then one body cream and happy birthday. Um, I don't think that this has a scent name on it. Oh, it is. It says vanilla buttercream. This one smells really good, actually. And then I do have these three little minis. I've got this Sol de Janeiro Beige Flora Elastic Cream. I've not tried this. I got this also last week in a Sephora order. I've got this Burt's Bees Hand Cream, just super simple. And then I've got this L'Occitane um, Shower Oil. I like this one. It's a small like travel size amount. So I want to save it for trips because it's a really nice, luxurious kind of feeling. But that's it for minis. And then for Miss, I've got a ton. So we'll start over here with my non Bath and Body Works. I've got two from Victoria's Secret Pink. This is from their um, Christmas collection a few years ago. I've got Vanilla Swirl, Frosted Vanilla, and Sugar Crystals, and then the Whip Dream, which is Cake Sprinkles and Vanilla Caramel. I'm pretty close to finishing off Whip Dream. Um, I've just been using that one like casually as a room spray, but. That's those two, and then I've got three from Sol de Janeiro. I've got 71, which is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. This is so, so yummy. I've got 62, which is pistachio and salted caramel. They're like signature scent. And then I've got this one, which is 40, black amber plum and vanilla woods. This is a nice like spring slash summer scent, so I'm not really using it right now, but I do like it. And now for fine fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works, I have a ton, so we'll start off with my winter scents, I've got Ice Sugar Plum from last year. This one was kind of a letdown because it does not last long at all, but I really like the scent. So anyways, and then I've got these three from this Christmas collection, I believe two years ago in 2021. Oh no, 2020. It's got a zero at the beginning. So 2020. Wow. Didn't realize they're three years old, but this is Christmas Cookies, Coconut Mint Drop, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And then I've got two from this holiday collection last year. I've got Blush Cardigan and Wrapped in Vanilla. Wrapped in Vanilla is probably one of my all-time favorites. And then another all-time favorite is this Frosted Wonderland. Now this one, I don't even think it has um, the dates on it, but it's from like 2014 and it just leaked on me. So I'm going to actually put this on my table because now my hands are all wet and I don't want to get everything wet. Um, I also don't want to lose this because I bought it on Mercari uh, for like... 20 bucks or something so yeah this is uh precious to me but i really really love this one okay i hope this is not like disorienting to you but i have to go upside down for this next clip of footage because this is at the foot of my bed so i've got my uh halloween and fall scents right here so we've got everlasting magic and vampire blood both from this year we've got bonfire bash from a few years ago as well as white pumpkin and chai and Vanilla Mocha Cafe. These are probably like some of my favorite scents of all time from Bath & Body Works. I just love them so much. And then I've got Twilight Woods in the Diamond Shimmer Mist. This is my only Diamond Shimmer Mist besides the mini um, Vampire Blood that I have. But yeah, I really don't like the Shimmer Mist, but it's fun to have every now and then for like some special occasions. But anyways, now I've got some summer and then some just kind of year round scents. So we've got the Mint Chocolate Swirl, which was a Canadian exclusive last year during SAS. I've got my Beach Nights, Fresh Coconut and Cotton, Strawberry Pound Cake. And then these four are just kind of, you know, year round scents. We've got Almond Blossom, which is one of my favorites, as you can tell. I've got Warm Vanilla Sugar, Twinkling Nights, and Velvet Sugar. And last category I have to show you guys is perfumes. So they're kind of spread out. I'm gonna start over here. I've got these four from Ariana Grande. She comes out with little coffrets, like um, coffret sets. That's what this is called as a coffret, this little mini perfume. She comes out with them every holiday season and she did just come out with another set. So if you're looking for little minis like this, check out, I believe they're on Ulta. So I've got these four right here, which I believe these two are both sweet like candy. This is Moonlight and this is, oh gosh, I can't even remember. But I've had these for a very long time, probably since like 2016 or something. So those are very old. <laughs> and then I've got these three little perfume sprays from Bath & Body Works. I've got Sunshine Mimosa, Midnight Amber Glow, and Into the Night. I've got two from different brands. I've got Ariana Grande's Mod Vanilla, which I thought would be one of my favorites. It's actually not very long lasting and not my favorite vanilla scent. I much prefer this Skylar Vanilla Sky scent over that one because this one actually lasts a pretty long time. So 
yeah, this was kind of a letdown. Definitely would not purchase a, a larger size, but I definitely would purchase a larger size of the Skylar one. And then I've got two from Dossier. I've got Musky Musk and Floriental Brown Sugar. I've got one full-size perfume from Bath & Body Works in Champagne Toast. I got a really good deal on this a couple years back, so that was a good one. I've got these two little mini perfumes. I've got Replicas by the Fireplace. I'm actually using this right now in my project Use It Up. And then I've got this um, Mix Bar Number 11 Glass Rose. I've got this Tom Ford Ebony, Ebony Fume, and this is a new to me item, this Nest Madagascar Vanilla Little Mini Roller Ball. It's so tiny and adorable. I just recently got in four Pacifica perfumes. So I've got this Island Vanilla Perfume, I've got Neon Moon, Dream Moon, and Sunrise Moon. So these are cool. I have not tried them yet. I really need to you know, break them out, but these are definitely more like summer kind of scents. So I got them near the end of summer and I was already transitioning to fall. So I will definitely try these out probably in the springtime and let you guys know. And then I've got this little set from Replica and I wanted to show you guys them out of the package just so you could have that. But I am currently using this top one, which is Autumn Vibes. We've got Lazy Sunday Morning, Under the Lemon Tree by the Fireplace, Jazz Club and Springtime in a Park. And then I've used the rest of those. And then I've got two little random Chanel perfumes. I've got Coco Mademoiselle and Chanel Chance. So once again, here's an overview of my collection. I think it's definitely too much. <laughs> I'm looking at my collection now and I'm thinking about where the numbers are and I'm definitely over where I was at, I think last time because I've been buying some stuff for the fall and I bought some stuff at SAS. So I think think <laughs> I definitely need to focus on reducing the size of my collection which sucks because I love purchasing during the winter time because they just come out with such fun items but yeah I definitely need to reduce my shower gels my lotions my <laughs> body creams um yeah I just need to work really hard <laughs> and finish off some of these but still not a horrible collection size but definitely bigger than I want it to be at. I think the only thing that I'm like really okay with is like my um, body scrub collection and my perfumes. Honestly, even though I have a ton of them, I like to be able to try perfumes. It's a newer venture for me. I haven't really been into perfumes since maybe the beginning of this year or the beginning of last year. So I've been kind of experimenting with those and I like having a um, bigger collection because at least they're like small, you know, they're not huge so anyways that is my entire body care collection okay so there you have it that is my entire body care collection like I said we're definitely at a bigger size <laughs> I think than before which is pretty sad but I'm just going to continue to use up stuff like I have been especially in my project use it ups I've been doing really good uh, my summer one went really well so I'm hoping that fall will as well but yeah, that's it for my collection update. I definitely have some work to do, but that is why we have this channel and that's why we share this experience together. So anyways, that is everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.